going open education what why and how doors can be open closed or partly open and closed so too can education Open education involves educational practices which use open educational resources and which reduce barriers to participation. Advantages of open education include greater accessibility, flexibility, quality improvement and lower long-term costs. Transform to open education by using open educational resources well-known open education web platforms, minimising barriers, encouraging students to contribute open material and engaging in communities of open practice. Open educational resources can be contrasted with commercially distributed copyright restricted resources. So all things being equal, open educational resources have greater utility. Open education is also about eliminating barriers to access and participation, or at least reducing and minimising barriers. And open education can be seen as part of open academia, which also involves open research and open service. Uh, the range and quality of open educational resources is rapidly increasing and in most areas now there is good materials available. Uh, open education is more flexible because it can be accessed anytime, anywhere, in any way. The materials are subject to ongoing quality improvement because they attract uh, more visits, more review, more comments and more editing. And although there may be some short-term cost, mainly in terms of time, in switching over to or developing open educational resources, uh, in the long term, it's a more efficient uh, option. So, how to go open? Uh, first of all, make gradual changes. Each teaching cycle, uh, look at one aspect of the um, teaching that can be made open. This can involve looking at the copyright licenses for all teaching and learning materials and gradually switching over to or developing open educational alternatives. Minimise barriers to engagement, such as by opening the teaching materials to the public. Encourage students uh, to contribute open materials, such as via assessment tasks uh, on wikis or open platforms. Use well-known open educational resource platforms uh, for hosting and developing materials such as Wikiversity and Wikieducator. And look to engage with communities of open practice who can provide support and mentoring. This presentation was uh, done by James Neal in the Centre of Applied Psychology at the University of Canberra. All the material, images and recordings are available under a Creative Commons license. And for more information, please see the presentation homepage.